What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we are taking a look at a game called Cinder. So stick around. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more content and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, Cinder is a game from uh, Smirk and Laughter Games. It is actually their very first Kickstarter that uh, was successfully funded back in March and is now going to be available at the end of this month in uh, retail. So you can finally get your hands on this game if you missed out on the Kickstarter like I did. Uh, it is for one to five players. It is for ages 14 and up and uh, takes around 40 minutes. It is a competitive game. There is a co-op mode and there is a solo mode. So definitely a lot of different options and ways to play this game. Uh, it's a push your, like, uh, push your luck dice game uh, about dating dragons uh, and trying to find love without getting burned. Um, so on your turn, you are going to uh, swipe through uh, different dragons, uh, reading their description and comparing that to uh, the choices that you made at the beginning of the game uh, for your character. And uh, then you're going to take those dragons out on dates based on your compatibility. You'll generate a dice pool. You can uh, roll those dice up to three times, pushing your luck, trying to get more hearts. Uh, however, if you get three uh, fires or three burn icons, uh, in a row, then your date is over and you lose all of your love points. So you have to make a decision, um, and that's that push your luck element. There's also some bonuses that you can get from dragons and locations and things like that, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But is it good? Well, if you join us on the table, we'll check it out. All right, so here's everything that comes inside of the base game that you'll be getting. Um, so first and foremost, we have uh, 15... Uh, character profile cards. These are your cinder profiles. Um, they're all identical except for the photo that is uh, showing here. So you're basically just going to pick which uh, photo you want to play with and uh, then you're going to fill it out however you want. They're double-sided and there's really cool um, art on the back but unfortunately you don't really ever see this side of the uh, of the card you know except for when you're deciding who you want to be. Um, so each player will get one of these as well as a dry erase marker. This is like a dry erase quality material or whatever. Um, then we have, of course, our dice. Um, there are uh, three different colors, uh, green being the best that has the most hearts and the least amount of burns, uh, blue being second best, which is uh, three and three, and then red uh, being the worst, more burns than there are hearts. Uh, then we have our um, dragons, of course. These um, come in all different flavors. Um, the information on the front here is the name, the picture. Uh, then it has some clue text. You're going to read this to try and uh, figure out what their interests are, their likes and dislikes and things like that. Uh, and that will give you clues as to uh, how this backside is laid out. Um, it's not spelled out clearly, so you're going to have to use some investigative work and some critical thinking there. Uh, there's also a little icon up here. This goes, uh, this coordinates with the expansion that came in the Kickstarter. Unfortunately, I don't think that that expansion is available to retail. Uh, hopefully that will change in the future. Right now, I think it's just a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, and then on the back side, you have what their, um, their actual stats are, and then some bonuses based on some different things that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, then we have our locations. This is where you're going to take your dragons out on their dates. Uh, they're different things, uh, different locations. It, there's a rating, which means nothing. Um, and then there's, you know, uh, some flavor text. And then uh, on the back side, uh, it tells you the uh, different steps of the date. And then it also gives you some more bonuses based on where you go. And the puns in this game are absolutely great. Obviously, Cinder uh, is a pun on Tinder, and then the locations, instead of Yelp, it's actually Welp, uh, which is pretty funny. Um, then there's a little clue card, uh, a reminder card here, scorecard for the co-op game, as well as the solo game. The rules are going to be uh, pretty similar 
Um, obviously, instead of being competitive against other players, you're going for a certain score here, and it's going to show you, uh, you know, based on your score, how well that you did for both um, the co-op and the solo mode, uh, which is pretty interesting. And then finally, we have our second chance cards. There's three different types. They're the same, uh, so no need to shuffle these up. Uh, these are given out uh, if you do get burned by a date. Uh, based on how badly you get burned, you'll get either a try again, an apology, or a do-over. Um, so that's everything that you need at the start of the game. You're going to, like I said, you're going to take one of these as well as a marker and one try again card. Uh, on this uh, profile card, you're going to put your name, uh, whatever name you want your character to be, pronoun, likes, and dislikes. Uh, this means nothing for the game. It's all just flavor. Then over here, uh, you're going to select... Um, you know, one category uh, for, or one selection for each of these categories. You have to do one per row with a maximum of two per column. So for example, I could do one here, one here, but then I couldn't do any more in that column. I'd have to choose another column. And then down here is where you're going to keep track of your score once you start scoring. Uh, so you're going to divvy all that up, uh, set up for a game, and then I'm going to show you guys how it plays. Okay, so here I have set up for a game. It doesn't matter the player count. Setup is always the same. Uh, you're going to start with uh, your app. Your, uh, your dating pool is not going to be filled. Um, there's not going to be anything down here to start the game. I've just gone ahead and filled it up. This is a couple of turns into the game. Um, so on your turn, the first thing that you need to do is choose which dragon that you want to date. Um, so you can choose... Um, anything that is in the dating pool, that's always three cards down here after the first couple turns, um, as well as the top dragon of the, of the app deck here. Uh, any dragons that are in your dating circle, that's a dragon that you have been on a successful date with, or any dragon that's in someone else's dating pool. However, you need to spend love points in order to date a dragon in someone else's dating pool, which I'll talk about in a second. So, um... Uh, or dating circle, rather. So um, on your turn, you can swipe left twice for free. After that, you can keep sp you can keep swiping, but you have to spend love points to do it. Um, so at the beginning of the game, obviously, you're not going to have any love points, so you can't do that. Um, so if you don't like any of these options here, like I said, you can swipe left twice. And in order to do that, you basically would take the top dragon, move him down to the leftmost spot, and then move everything over, discarding the card on the farthest right. He'll be saved for later in case we go through all of this. We shuffle everything back in. And like I said, you can do that twice on your turn for free. So you swipe left and move everything over. Uh, then once you're, you're done with your swiping, like I said, you decide which dragon you want to take out on a date. It can be anything here, anything in your, uh, in your dating circle, or uh, anything in someone else's dating circle if you wanted to spend three love points to do that. So um, let's just say I wanted to take this guy on a date here. Uh, this says, it can be easy to fall prey to the negativity around us, but I just want to live every amazing day to the fullest. Anyone need some positivity? So this is a positive dragon. I'm gonna look down here in my stuff. I chose outgoing as my social. So he may be, it sounds to me like he's pretty outgoing. Um, he might be relaxed. Um, he's in water, so he's probably on the colder side. And I don't know what he does with treasure. It's really hard to tell. So I'm going to go ahead and date this guy. Um, now, that's the first thing that you do on your turn. The second thing that you do is uh, to determine which dice it is that you're going to get in your dice pool. So to do that, you flip it over. And then you take a look at the back here and compare it to your selections. And here's how it works. So for every match that you have, I have one match, we match on outgoing, uh, you get a green dice. For every uh, category that is one away from your match, so um, he is a hoarder, uh, I am an investor, uh, this is... Uh, he's active where I'm relaxed, so those are both one away. I get blue dice for those. And then any that are two away, complete opposites, uh, I'm hot 
and he's cold, you get a red dice. So that's how you generate your uh, pool of dice. These are the dice that I'm going to be throwing on the date. Then I'm going to draw a location. So you take the top location card and you flip it over and you see what you've got here. So uh, these are some bonuses. So this says green, your treasure dice is green here. So my treasure dice was blue, but I'm going to actually change that to a green because of the bonus that I got on my location. So that's pretty good for me. And then the bottom here it says, uh, for a bonus, roll a spark on your last roll of a successful date and add one love point to your total. Now in order to have a successful date, you need to be able to make it past level one. So there's three levels to each date. Uh, there's the meetup, the next step, and the next level. So it uh, looks like for our meetup, we're meeting up uh, for tapas, then we're going to a movie, and then fortunes. So uh, this is where the push your luck stuff comes. Now I'm going to check my dragon's uh, bonuses here and see what they have. Uh, this dragon is after a successful date with this dragon, you may change any one of your attributes by one degree. So here you can actually change your attributes, which is pretty crazy. But again, the date has to be successful, so we have to go beyond the initial meetup. Then over here it says if you get burned by this dragon, you may spend two love points to keep this dragon in your circle. So hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. So now that everything has been done, now I'm going to roll. So... Uh, the first roll is the meetup, right? And again, I'm looking for hearts, not for uh, fires. So this is really, really bad. Um, I got two fires and two hearts. So, eh, you know, what can you do? I could spend my try again to re-roll one of these fire results, which I think I'm actually going to do here. So I'm going to spend that, and I'm going to re-roll one of these. Boom, got a heart. Very good. Uh, so I'm going to keep this fire above me. I lose that die for the rest of the date. And now I have three hearts. So I have to remember that I have three hearts, okay? Uh, so now I am choosing to continue this date by going to the next step. So I've got three love points so far. And now I get to reroll these again on our next step, which is the movie. And again, I'm looking for hearts. Ooh, good. So I got two more hearts, which puts me at five. I did get one more fire, so there's nothing I can do about that. So right now I'm at five love points total for the date. I have two fires. If I roll again for the third step and I get a flame, game over, I lose all five of my love points. However, this was considered a successful date because I did do two levels of the date. Um, so looking over here, roll a spark on your last roll of a successful date. So I didn't roll a spark. Sparks are uh, dice that have a flame with a little uh, spark symbol there. I didn't get any sparks. Um, so I'm not going to get this bonus here for the location. But uh, I am going to be able to, because this was a successful date, um, I could change one of my things if I wanted to by one degree. I'm not going to, I don't think. I think I'm going to keep everything the way that it is. This was a successful date, which means I get to keep this dragon in my circle. I'll put him over there. Uh, this location gets discarded uh, for later. And I got a total of five. I'm deciding to stop my date so that I don't get completely burned. So I get five love points. So I'm going to take my marker here. I'm going to annotate where I am. I'm at five love points total. And um, and that's that. So that's that would be the end of my turn. I went ahead and discarded the stuff that I used. I keep this dragon in my circle. If someone else at the table wants to date this dragon, they will need to spend three love points in order to do it. On my next turn, if I want, I could take this dragon back out on a date again, or I can keep going up here. Um, the only other thing that you really need to know about how to play are these cards over here, and that's what happens if you get burned. So if I decided to continue to push my luck here and go out on that third date, let's see what would have happened. Oh, well, look at that. I would have gotten all the way, which would have been uh, seven love points. But let's say I had rolled a third burn, right? So three burns. I lose all my love points. However, I do get to take one of these cards over here based on how many, uh, how many 
um, fires I rolled on that last roll. So uh, for this, I rolled one fire on my last roll, so I'm going to get a try again. If I had rolled three fires on my last roll, which made the, uh, you know, made the whole thing burn out, then um, I would get a do-over, which is spend to re-roll all of the fire results. And uh, apology, which is two burns, is spend to remove a fire result. So you just remove it. It's it just doesn't stay on your uh, on your character card like that. Um, other than that, that's all you need to know. You're going to spend your turn selecting a dragon, uh, swiping left to go through this if you want, uh, selecting a dragon to take out on a date, generating your pool, adding bonuses from both the dragon and the location, and then that three-step push-your-luck rolling process to try and get as many hearts without burning out as you can. And the player that gets to 21 love points first triggers one last round for all the other players. And then the player with the most love points at the end of the game wins. Um, so let's take one quick second to take a look at the solo and the co-op stuff. Plays uh, almost exactly the same. Um, the co-op, you go on five full dates uh, and then players based on... Uh, your player count, count up how many love points they've gotten as a group, and that's the score that you get. On the other side, same thing. You're going to go on five full dates, uh, but you're looking for your own love points. Um, so if you get zero to nine, you pretty much lost, and then 10 to 36 plus will give you what your, um, you know, what your stuff is here. Uh, the only difference in this mode is that you cannot use... Um, you use your locations and your second chance cards, but you can't redate a dragon who burned you. So once you get burned, that dragon is no more. You can't use him anymore. Um, and, and that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order to play Cinder. You guys, this game is so much fun. Um, I love the concept. I love the theme behind it. The puns are great. Um, Cinder rather than Tinder, Welp rather than Yelp. Um, the art is awesome. Uh, the components for the game are really, really high quality. I was kind of nervous about the whole dry erase thing, but um, you know we've played this game a bunch, and I haven't had any issues with um, you know any smudging or you know the dry erase not coming off of the cards. As long as you take care of your stuff, these really are really good components. The dice are awesome. Uh, I love the translucentness of the of the colors, and uh, you know the symbols are really bold, really easy to read. Uh, the rules are very straightforward, very easy to teach to other people. Um, it can very easily be used as a gateway game for other push your luck type games. Um, and again, the theme here is going to be really popular at uh, parties and among people who aren't gamers. So you take this game to a party with people who aren't gamers. They're going to love that theme of, of Cinder versus Tinder. It's just really, really fun stuff. Um, I am sad that I didn't miss the, uh, that I did miss this Kickstarter because, uh, like I said, there is an expansion. Uh, so if you can find that, I um, highly recommend. It looks really, really cool from what I can see online. Um, but again, it's, it looks to be like it's a Kickstarter exclusive. So um, I don't know if that will be available in the future. I do hope they continue doing stuff with this game because um, it's really neat. But um, Smirk and Dagger uh, Games, uh, which is, you know, the big company, uh, Smirk and Laughter Games is, is a subset of that. Uh, they have tons of games. Um, I actually got a couple other games as well that I'll be reviewing in the future. Uh, so go and check them out. I'll leave links to everything in the description below. Uh, check this out uh, on retail, which will be available at the end of this month. Uh, so if you're like me and you missed the Kickstarter, you can still get your hands on it. What do you guys think of Cinder? Let me know down in the comments below. I enjoy reading those and interacting with you guys. Uh, if you want to see more from the Circle of Nerds, you can check out all of our social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Circle of Nerds. Also, don't forget, we have a podcast that comes out every week called The Cosmic Disaster Show. You can find that right here on YouTube or anywhere that you enjoy listening to podcasts. And for an extra bit of love and affection to us here at the Circle of Nerds, please consider checking us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash circle of nerds.
Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you in the next video.